Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, and welcome to Let's Play F Zero X for the Nintendo 64. A little bit of an origin story, actually. Uh, I'll explain what I mean by that in a little bit. <clears throat> and I, and that I mean regards to my channel. Uh, F Zero X is a futuristic racer that has you going at breakneck speeds of over a thousand kilometers per hour. Uh, no explanation is really needed because I'm going to show you what it is in about a second. We have our selection of a few fighters to start. We got the famous Captain Falcon. You all know him from Smash Brothers, and which is unfortunate because he has his own game series as we're playing right now. You have the Golden Fox, Wild Goose, Fire Stingray, White Cat, and Red Gazelle with the pilot. Mighty Gazelle. That's right. This is the it, <laughs> this is where I got my idea for my channel. Um, I'll explain as I race, but yeah, let's get going. Mute City. I'm novice because I'm not the greatest, but we'll do our best. This game is actually very difficult, so if I mess up a lot, then uh, so. Let me explain a little bit what I mean when I talked about history. Uh, back in the day, roughly like 2003-esque, just think around then, I would go to the YMCA with my family, and when my parents were working out, they would drop me and my sister off at this little group called the Y-Zone, and it's where they left, people left all their kids to hang out and just play some video games, have a good time, and... This is one of those games I was like, wow, it's really cool, and I would always play it. And I'd always choose this this racer because Mighty Gazelle looks so cool. He's a freaking. He used to be human, now he's a cyborg due to a crazy accident. And now he's dedicated his life to F Zero racing. And he always looks so cool. And when I was thinking of a YouTube, YouTube name for my channel, I was like, you know, I kind of want to do something that has roots to my childhood in some way. So, I thought, what better to do than Mighty Gazelle? It's unique, because I don't think anyone really knows who he is. Maybe they do. I can't assume that. Um, yeah, and I just thought he was super cool, and it'd be a great idea for a YouTube avatar, so that's who I picked. And it helps that the game itself is amazing. F-Zero is... First of all, one of the franchises that I want to see return because it is amazing. It's unrivaled in brutality in terms of a racer. This is not Mario Kart where you get to first place by throwing a blue shell and blowing up the guy in first. It's not like that. A lot of this is purely skill based. Um, there are three console F-Zeros in the series. This is the second, the middle child, I guess you could call it. Uh, there was the original on the Super Nintendo. And there was GX on the GameCube. I played the original. I have not had a chance to yet play the one on the GameCube. That is something I hope to do eventually. Because I heard it's really good, so... Yeah, it's a little background with me in this game. Let's focus on the races now, shall we? Um, I'm playing on Novice, so it's not terribly difficult. But as you can see, there are a lot of racers who are kind of assholes, so... We'll see how this goes. Oh my god, I love this game. I just recently purchased it because... Believe it or not, I actually have not played it since way back in my childhood. I, I picked it up on eBay for a decent price. I'm like, okay, cool, I can play this again. and. Uh, share my experience with you guys and have a good time. I did some practicing beforehand, but I did delete uh, all the data on the cartridge afterwards so we can start on a fresh, clean slate. Otherwise, you would have seen a lot more characters to be able to be selected. Um, when you're racing, you'll see the energy meter on the top. That's that's both your health and your boost. You can choose to boost by clicking B, and it gives you oh, obviously a little boost. Uh, but it also takes away from your health, so it's kind of a risk-reward system. And it's really unique, and I love how they do that. No other game really has that, where it kind of makes you think about whether you want to push yourself ahead at the risk of dying, or 
play it safe and just focus on your, uh, I guess, normal driving skills without boost? I don't know. One of the greatest things about this game, I think, is the music. I'll probably say that a lot, but I'm going to shut up a little bit uh, on one of my favorite tracks coming up and let you kind of listen to the music, but <clears throat> this game is so great. All right, maybe a little quiet now and just focus on racing. I think the great one to be quiet. This one's hard as nails. Yeah, right now we're at 800 kilometers per hour, which is decent speed, but you get a lot faster than that. You've got boost power. I love how he says that. This is the hard part, I think, the tunnels. I will be uh, trying to 100% the game. I'm still a little iffy on what the terms are for 100% in the game, but if I had to guess, it's beating every uh, kind of league on the hardest difficulty. There's like the Jack League, Queen League, King League, and a couple others that we'll be seeing later. I will try to complete them all. I will definitely do that. There we go. Man, I love... Uh, so, some of you may be thinking, like, wow, the graphics aren't that great, even for a Nintendo 64 game. Uh, that is by design. So, when this game was being made, they made the decision that we want this game to run at a smooth 60 frames per second. And in order to do that, they sacrificed some of uh, the textures, high like high textures that you would see in a Zelda game or uh, you know, other games around the time and focused on putting everything they could into making the game run super smooth and I personally I think it worked very well. Uh, some people may not agree with that but that's fine. There's other F-Zero games to play if you don't think that uh, if you think that graphics are everything but I'm one of the people who think who like simplicity. I like things that uh, don't necessarily try too hard to be uh, like look fantastic. I like, I don't know, I guess the word is minimalistic. The controls are extremely tight and perfect and the racing is fun, so. And the music is freaking awesome. I So I don't listen to heavy metal or anything in my own personal time, but this game makes it freaking a perfect match, a match made in heaven. Futuristic, violent, hovercraft racing mixed with heavy metal. I think that's a perfect mix. And there's, you know, there's uh, that game that came out on Wii U recently, uh, Fast Racing Neo, that tried to replace what F-Zero is. No, you can't replace this. You cannot. You can try, but... And I'm sure that game's great. I'm not trying to put that down, but... Um, there's a certain... I don't know what you call it about F-Zero. It's got plenty of character. All the characters in this game have fantastic backgrounds that are really cool to look into. Uh, at the end of the Let's Play, I will probably just have a little extra video and read off their backgrounds, because that'll be kind of fun. I'm sweeping the competition right now, which is pretty easy, considering we're on the easiest uh, circuit set in the game on the easiest difficulty, so um, don't expect that too much. And I just hit my mic. Hold on, let me adjust this. I know, I'm not very professional, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, Big Blue. This is the 
probably one of the greatest soundtrack uh, themes of all time. I love, I love Big Blue. You'll see why I love it in a second. I'm just going to shut up and let you listen to the beauty. If that doesn't get the adrenaline going, I don't know what does. You're not human. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't like it, it's, it's cool. Everyone likes and dislikes their own thing. I just think this track is beautifully made, both visually, uh, design-wise, and music. Let me see if I can kill this guy. You can actually attack people if you get up close and you can kind of bash into them. It's going to be kind of hard right now. Guy seems to want to stay out of my way. Alright, let's end this thing with a victory, shall we? This is definitely one of those games I want to see return in a big way. Uh, Mario Kart 8 is DLC. It kind of teased fans terribly by. Each, each of the DLC packs, they had an F-Zero track. Like, okay, you're going to have Captain Falcon's ride, the Blue Falcon. You're going to have two of his tracks. You're going to have his me outfit, but you're not going to include Captain Falcon in the game. Little iffy, if you ask me. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, at the beginning, they give you a choice of more acceleration or more max speed. I feel like if you're not very good at the game, you want to kind of go in the middle. Uh... And if you're really good at the game, we'll probably go to the far right. I find myself, you know, around here. I don't see any reason why you'd want to go full acceleration. Your max speed would be so terrible that you would never win. That's what I would think, anyway. Yep, the difficulty got bumped up a little bit for this one. First lap, you kind of want to focus on getting out of the, uh, the pack where everyone just gets beat up by each other. If you can distance yourself and get in the top 10 by about the second lap, roughly, you should be good. I almost, I almost died. The Red Gazelle, uh, who is Mighty Gazelle's vehicle, it's not the best in terms of taking damage. It's, it's high ranking and boost, so it goes a little bit faster when you get boost and whatnot. It's more efficient in that category. Uh, and it's also... I don't remember the third stat. It was like... Handling? I don't know. Something like that. A lot of people bag on the announcer for sounding like he's submerged in water or like really distorted. I don't know, I find it kind of charming. It's, it stands the test of time, honestly. Especially on the second lap when he's like, you got boost power. I think that's the greatest thing ever. Get off my tail, punk. And we won, pretty much. And victory. Nice. Alright, 
Not a bad time. I don't know what a good time is, but that one looked okay, considering I got my first place. <laughs> so, uh, I was kind of disappointed. Um, Nintendo um, loves to celebrate anniversaries for their games, and F-Zero's 25th came and went fall of 2015 without even a whisper. So, you know, that shows how much uh, interest they have in the franchise, I suppose. But hopefully NX has an F-Zero game. I could definitely see that being a title, or a launch title. Every time you finish a cup, you get this little victory, uh, you just come a victory lap on your way to the podium. Kind of like how in Mario Kart, at the end you do like a little parade thing. Except this one's a lot more heavy metal and badass. Gazelle fireworks. That's what I'm talking about. No problem, game. Anytime. <laughs> 